Hello, my name is Bernadine Voss and I'm the Mayor of the City of Port Phillip. Finally, two of our five municipal libraries are officially open to the community. I can't believe how much I've missed them. It's such an important place for so many. Here with me to talk about our libraries is Lauren, Manager of Communications and Engagement, and she has also taken on responsibility for our libraries. Well, thanks for being here today, Lauren. Uh, as a result of lifting some of COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, our libraries are reopening. Um, I'm wondering, will they be the same as they've always been or will there be some changes? Well, Bernadine, originally there are going to have to be some changes um, as we make sure that we keep our community and staff um, safe during this period. So obviously social distancing will be really important. Um, we are only allowed 20 people per branch at a time um, under the Premier's directions, but you know we look forward to that sort of expanding with time. And um, we will be sort of limiting um, use of furniture, use of um, computers in the first instance and things like newspapers, just until we can get everything um, working and ensuring that everyone is safe. So uh, what happened when the libraries closed? You know, we had this pandemic, everything closed, people got cut off from their beloved books. Did our community um, have access to the collection at all? Absolutely. So I guess there's been many silver linings um, throughout this pandemic and one of them has been that people have had to become a little bit more aware of the incredible extensive range of e-services we have at the library. So we have books, we have um, audio books, we have movies, we have magazines, we have newspapers, we have music streaming, um, all these things available online for free for the entire community and it has given us an opportunity to promote those services um, more and kind of encourage new people to kind of take advantage of that. Um, we've also of course had um, fantastic programming going on virtually via our social media channels and website. Yeah, look I, I saw some stats from last month that showed an increase in ebooks over the last month of 50% and uh, e-movies have been streaming uh, more than a hundred percent increase. Uh, are you finding that sort of the right sort of numbers? Do we want more than that, or what do you? What oh, do you? What's your I thinking? I think it's always going to be a balance, isn't it? Um, I know for myself, you know, it's wonderful to, to listen to a, an ebook or to to watch a sort of movie on a computer. You know, if you're on public transport or something like that. But you know, we still want to snuggle up with a sort of hardcover physical book at night. So. I think it's a great balance, but it's really good to know that when books aren't available or where physical items aren't available, those e options are always there. And the other incredible, uh, I think, thing that happened with the closure of the libraries was this story time, uh, the virtual telling of stories to um, all the children and helping out their parents. Can you tell me a little bit about how that sort of took off? Absolutely. So we've got an incredible um, team of storytellers at the libraries who entertain hundreds of children and their carers every single week. Um, and that was something we were quite concerned about taking away as it's something um, parents with small children rely on um, heavily. And it's also so important for our sort of early literacy objectives. So um, our team of incredible storytellers have continued to make video story times and baby time sessions um, throughout the entire sort of three months or so that we've been closed. We've given the ability for our community to just click what books they want and come and pick them up. Can you um, give a little bit Absolutely. more information around that? So obviously we're only going to be allowed 20 people per branch um, at the moment. So we want to sort of minimise people having to queue outside for long periods of time as we know lots of people will want to come in. So we are giving people the opportunity to just reserve any items they like online and then come and quickly pick them up. And we're offering that at three branches at Albert Park, at Port Melbourne and at St Kilda. And um, customers from our Emerald, Emerald Hill and Middle Park branches can go to Albert Park for their collections. I'm so excited to be picking up books for my kids today. Um, so how many of our libraries, our municipal libraries, are actually open at the moment? Port Melbourne and St Kilda will open um, at their regular hours. Um, in a couple of weeks, we're hoping to open Emerald Hill. Um, Albert Park is having um, long-awaited refurbishment works to the bathrooms at the front that any customers there will be very excited to hear about. Um, we expect that to take about five or six weeks to complete and then we'll be opening Albert Park. And Middle Park, unfortunately, will need to just wait a tiny bit longer till sort of physical distancing requirements lift 
how can council ensure that this is a safe space uh, for people and the books are safe to touch and to take home? So we have um, quarantining um, procedures for all of the books that are coming back. So the books aren't actually touched for three days, even though um, you know COVID is not meant to last for long periods on paper, but um, we're taking sort of all necessary precautions regardless. Um, we're obviously increasing our cleaning regimens um, and ensuring sort of the social distancing, as I said, and limited numbers in the branch. So, you know, we're confident that we can provide a safe um, space, both for our community and for our staff. Wow, and um, I'm wondering, you know, the libraries are really sacred places for a lot of people and, and very safe places for a lot of people. But what does the future hold for our libraries in your role? Yes. What do you think the libraries are going to do? So I think um, libraries will continue to be so many different things to different people and that's what make them special. Um, so as you said before, you know, we have such a, a strong audience of young sort of families um, that come in and kind of, you know, learn to read and, and learn to sort of discover a love of books. Um, but we also have people that come in at all sort of stages of their lives. Some people come to study, some people come for entertainment, um, some people come to socialise and increasingly people have come to sort of connect with other members of their community, sort of meet neighbours, meet other people. Um, and so I think programming and, you know, uh, those sorts of things will continue to increase in libraries moving forward. Um, and they'll continue to move more into that sort of cultural institution space, um, as well as places where people can come together. Yeah. And in the Port Melbourne Library, um, there is the assist um, option. Is that open at the moment? No, so our assist counters um, haven't been open since the pandemic started, but assist has been fully available um, via the call centre and online since this started, and we are hoping to open those centres really, really soon, as soon as it's safe to do so.